I'm not proud of this. I've liberated a few items, shall we say, from the set, from the set, and brought them to my home. And they home. let you keep your fingers after that? They, I was supposed, that, that was the main thing I wanted, my bag with the fingers in, and it gets blown off the Battle of Blackwater, and, and I never see it again. They had it in costume, and I said, I want that, and they said, we have it, and then they've lost it. So I have my eye on eBay, I'm gonna hunt down the pig, whoever <laughs> has it, and is trying to sell it. But let me tell you something against myself. So I liberated, you remember I carved the, the uh, stag for Shireen yeah, before yeah, he yeah. sends me away, and I give it to her as a gift. I liberated that, and I, when I came home, my daughter has a wall of awesome. She's a cosplayer. She's been here for the last two years. Couldn't make it this year. What does she go as? What's her? Uh, Lincoln Zelda. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah, that, that was the first year. Eight weeks spent, spent making a costume, and last year was uh, Adventure Time. She was the princess. And our friends and our in the family. How awesome. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. So uh, I uh, gave her the stag, Yeah. and I said, that's for your wall of awesome, which she has at home. I said, what is it? I said, you'll find out. So, of course, we, when it comes out, it's months later. Right. So when this episode came on where I give it to her, I said, you need to go upstairs. Why? I said, get the stag. You'll find out when you come down. She sat, and we all sit watching it together. And she has the stag, and I hand the stag over, and my daughter has a little tear in her eye and goes, oh, I have the actual stag that my dad gave to Shireen. The problem was an episode or two later. <laughs> now... I wasn't there for the filming, obviously, mm. of Shireen being born. Right. And when I read it, I was devastated. But nine months later, I kind of, it, you put it, I told her to get the stag again. I hadn't seen this. And she's sitting there with the stag in her hand while Shireen is walking up to the post to be born. And I looked down and I went, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> and I looked down and my daughter's silently wailing at the end of the sofa. <laughs> she was bereft. She was absolute. And I thought, oh my God. This is She's like, what are you trying what to tell, tell me? me? Yeah, I know, yeah. So we're still in family therapy over that. <laughs> and uh, we're hoping to get through it in the next couple of years. <laughs>